Hello, and welcome to the Get Lean and Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I'm a certified health coach, trainer, and author. And this podcast is for middle-aged men and women looking to optimize their health and get their bodies back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago. I will give you simple, actionable items to get long-term sustainable results. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. All right, welcome to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I hope you had a great weekend and happy Tuesday if you're listening to this on Tuesday. Hope you had a chance to listen to my interview with Dr. Kyle Daigle. We touched on all about the benefits of red light therapy, his elaborate morning routine, along with the power of visualizing and enhancing sleep through magnetic sleep pads and much, much more. So Dr. Kyle has a ton of great information and I great tips and he's a big biohacker. So if you're into that type of thing, I definitely recommend listening to that interview. That's episode 312. Now, just to piggyback my interview with Dr. Kyle, we touched on towards the end of the interview, magnetic sleep pads. And I wanted to do a little bit of research on that because it was actually something that um, I might uh, buy for myself and my wife. Um, He spoke about this magnetico sleep pad Um, and I'll leave a link in the show notes. I have no affiliation with them, but you know, I'm always looking for, for ways and and things that could, you know, up, upgrade our health. And, you know, obviously when it comes to sleep, we know how important that is. So, uh, this could, you know, these sleep pads, uh, could be for anybody really, but athletes, individuals, maybe that are under high stress, um, infants, seniors, children, you name it, people, maybe with chronic low energy, um, uh, maybe they do heavy physical work during the day or environmentally concerned individuals. Um, and as I just researched a little bit more about it, you know, it, the website itself did some good research and it, and it touched on the, this doctor who's done research since the, gosh, the, the 19, I believe he can't had a study that came out in, in 1956, he published a study and his name is Dr. Kyochi Nakagawa. And he's done a ton of magnetic research. Um, and so in 1956, he published a study that uh, raised a lot of eyebrows. It was, um, according to his findings, the Earth's natural magnetic field had declined by at least 50%. Now, this is sta- this is obviously a staggering figure that brought the attention to the importance of understanding the impact of magnetic fields and how they can affect our health. Um, his, his work has paved the way for many researchers and science to explore, uh, the field further. And so what they found out was essentially the magnetic field of the earth is measured at a mirror, what's called 0.5 Gauss, G-A-U-S-S. It's just a way to measure the magnetic field of the earth. And from historic data, it was known that the earth's magnetic field 4,000 years ago was 5.0 Gauss. So that's a staggering 90% decrease. Um, And so there's been concern around that regarding human health, even agricultural productivity. And so essentially that has led to this, this awareness has led to obviously a lot of products coming out there that can help sort of counteract the the fact that the earth's magnetic field has come down. Um, And so this magnetico sleep pad is an interesting thing that you essentially you, you put under your mattress as dr kyle was talking about and it's helps uh it's sort of it's like a patent sleep pad that provides this magnetic environment that you're supposed to be getting from the earth so this could aid in restoration and rejuvenation of your body uh harnessing magnetic resonance um you know some of you may not want to believe any of this stuff i think there there's some validity behind it you can check it out more if you want to read about it uh but essentially by sleeping on this pad, you're sort of recreating this beneficial magnetic field of our, that our, you know, our ancestors had, you know, we always talk about like ancestral eating. Well, no one necessarily talks about, uh, the magnetic field of the earth and how that's been sort of a bit on the decline. Um, so I find it interesting. Again, you don't have to believe it. You can sort of research it yourself if you want to, um, as, as far as sort of restoring the earth's magnetic field through this sleep pad and restoring, you know, sort of what it was like back years, years ago. 
Um, he he seemed to love it, and it was getting you know sort of the uh, such a great impact on his sleep and his energy throughout the day. So this might be something for you, especially if you're maybe struggling with sleep and um, maybe have chronic fatigue or something like that. Um, but it is interesting because there are, there was also research around the fact that these magnetic fields can also have a significant impact on just agriculture, uh, crop yields, and improving plant growth. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think the research goes just beyond not only uh, um, you know us getting benefit from the Earth's magnetic field, but also other areas like agriculture. So really interesting. And also he he does research a little bit about how these ef- effects of artificial um, lights, ec- ele- ele- electronic devices that we're surrounding ourselves with every day with cell phones and laptops have th- and those, how can those disrupt um, sort of our natural magnetic balance and our bodies leading to, you know, obviously some health issues. Um, so really interesting things. I'm, I'm still researching and I have not ordered one myself, but you know, I wanted to give you sort of uh, a little bit of an update or a little bit of an overview on that because I know we touched on it during the interview. Um, but I will put a, a link in the show notes for this Magnetico sleep pad if you want to research it more yourself. Uh, again, no affiliation. So uh, anyways, that's what I want to touch on today and just piggyback off my interview with Dr. Kyle. And so if you have any questions, feel free to email me, brian at briangrin.com. And uh, hopefully you have a great rest of the week. And I will talk to you on Friday with another great interview. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for listening to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. I understand there are millions of other podcasts out there and you've chosen to listen to mine. And I appreciate that. Check out the show notes at briangrin.com for everything that was mentioned in this episode. Feel free to subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend or family member that's looking to get their body back to what it once was. Thanks again and have a great day.